We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching, marching to Zion. That beautiful city of God. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching, marching to Zion. That beautiful city of God. Come on, march with me. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching, marching to Zion. That beautiful city of God. Let us pray. Father God, as we come this morning, this beautiful day, the day that you have given us, we thank you, Lord, for awakening our eyes this morning and allowing us another day. Father, you've been better to some of us than we've ever thought about being to ourselves, and we come this morning to say thank you. We ask you, Lord, to help us to be a little bit more like Yahshua, like Christ, a little bit more loving, a little bit more giving, a little bit more understanding. Father, right now we are going through some things in America and the world. We ask that you touch the leadership in America and the world. We ask that you touch our hearts as we move throughout this land. We ask that you help us be more about love than about hate. There's a lot going on in America, a lot going on in the world, a lot of wars. We ask that you touch, that you heal and that you deliver right now. Someone within the sound of my voice is going through something, Father. It may be financial, it may be spiritual, Someone has a cancer, an affliction, an addiction. We ask that you eradicate it right now. In the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, the one who has more power in the hem of his garment than any doctor, any lawyer, any politician. We ask that you touch, that you heal, and that you deliver right now. In the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, we ask these and all of these things. And in his name and for his sake, we claim it with an amen, amen, and amen. You know, as we prepare to celebrate the life and the resurrection of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, let us not forget daily we are witnessing God in action daily all over the world I don't care where you look we are witnessing God in action we are witnessing hate being diminished being destroyed being overcome by good men and women all over the world Men and women who will stand, men and women who will fight, and men and women who understand that when we do the work of God, we are God in action. Look with me at this book of Matthew. This book of Matthew, the 28th chapter. After the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. The 16th through the 20th verse. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Yahshua had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him. 
but some doubted. And Yahshua came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to each and every word. This morning, my brothers and sisters, I want you to know that you are God in action and that you are witnessing God in action every single day. When you lift one another up, when you love one another, you are doing the work of God. When you help somebody, we're called to lift one another. We're called to help each other. How do we do that? We show some love. We show some guidance. We show some understanding. Let me tell you, we have a very mean advocate out there. Satanic forces want you to turn this way. They want you to turn that way. But God tells us to remain focused, to remain focused on his word. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman which need not be ashamed, who rightly divides that word. When you rightly divide that word, you are doing the work of God. You are God in action. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? You are powerful. You are strong. You are able to overcome any and all things as a child of God. He told us in his word, if we had a mustard seed of faith, we could say to the mountain, move, and the mountain would move. Mountains are moving today, my brothers and sisters. Things are happening because God is in action. He's in action each and every day. Don't stop fighting. Don't stop standing. Don't stop studying his word. His word is our treasure. His word is our gold. His word is our opportunity to continually overcome. Through his word, we gain the power we need to continually overcome. Do you know who you are? Do you know what you're witnessing? You're witnessing God in action each and every day. And he will continue to be in action. He will continue to lead. He will continue to destroy those who attempt to overcome you. No weapon formed against a child of God can overtake you. Know who you are. Know that. Claim that, my brothers and sisters. And until next week, keep the victory in sight. And know we are witnesses of God in action. And we are God in action. Five point. 10 billion of us and growing. Know that. The reason that I have written victory inside is because I believe that once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are victorious. And I compare 
being a Christian today would be an athlete. You see, because athletes must condition and train their bodies constantly, day in and day out. They must focus mentally as well as physically. And this is the same thing that Christians must do. But when we do that, truly we see victory in sight. The first poem tonight is entitled, I Shall Give and Follow. I shall give to my Lord my all in all. And then I shall wait to hear his call. If I give all I've got, I can never fail. For when I deal with my father, my ship is sure to sail. My strength is great. I am not weak. And as I walk with the Lord, I walk at my peak. I am built of stone. No evil can break. I shall never be broken. My Lord, I shall never forsake. He has given me hope to bear each hour. He has given me strength, given me power. As I walk in his steps, others shall follow. His powers are strong, his waters not shallow. And never has his love for mankind ever been hollow. To my Lord, my God, I shall give and follow. 